Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I will show you how to create this. So we are now in After Effects. Create a new composition. Let's call it Colorful Text Reveal. As always I'm using 1920 by 1080 resolution and frame rate of 30. And keeping the duration to 5 seconds. You are free to choose your own settings. Now add your text here. I'm using Fira Sans. Extra bold font here. You can download the same font from the link given in the description. Now change the font size to 140. Double click on the anchor point tool to center align the anchor point. And center align your text as well. Now we will animate our text. So open layer property and add opacity from animate option. Now go 17 frames forward. Open range selector option, and change offset value to minus 100 and add a key here. Go one second forward and change offset value to 100. Now open advanced option. Change the shape to ramp up, keep the randomize order on, and opacity to zero. Here we got our basic animation. Now minimize the layer, and create a new solid layer. Keep the solid size same as com size. Now we will change color. Here I have some color codes which you can copy for getting similar color shade like me. Now pre-compose this layer. Name it liquid gradient, and select the move all attributes option. Now take the ellipse tool. Keep the fill color same as the background color and start drawing the shape like I'm doing. I'm hiding the background layer to see what's going on with the shape layer. Open the ellipse option, go inside ellipse path 1, and change scale to 165. Now search for the drop shadow effect and apply it on the layer. Change the shadow color to white. Here you can see the shadow. Change the shadow opacity to 100% and shadow distance to 20. Now add repeater in this layer from add option. Open repeater properties, change copies to 15. Open repeater transform option and change position x value to 185. Now again add another repeater from add option. Open repeater properties, change copies to 15. Open repeater transform option and change position x value to 0, and y value to 185. Now, open the position and shift the shape position to top left corner of the screen. Cool. Now we can unhide the bottom layer. Now, create a new solid of comp size and change the color to white. Keep this layer at the middle of both layers. Now search for the Venetian blinds effect and apply it on the layer. Change the transition completion value to 50%. Direction to 90 degree. And width to 25. Now come back to our main comp. Again search for the turbulent displace effect and apply it on the gradient layer. Change the displacement to bulge smoother. Amount to 125 size to 250. Here, offset value is optional but I'm changing the offset x value to 1600, and change the complexity to 3%. Now we need expression, so hold alt button on the keyboard and click on the evolution stopwatch. Type here time star 150. And here we got our continues liquid animation. Now we will use track mat option. For that, place the text layer above the gradient layer, and change the track mat to alpha mat. Now you can check your animation. Here you can see our pattern is big in size, 
so scale the gradient layer for getting more details in waves. But scaling more creates problem, because our gradient comp has limited size. For fixing this, search for the CC reptile effect and apply it above the turbulent displace effect. And expand all the sides by 800. So we will get large size of gradient comp. Now we can change back again the layer to alpha mat. I'm going with 55% scaling but you can keep size as much as you like. Cool. Now take a copy of text layer. And keep it below the all layers. And unhide the layer. Search for the directional blur effect and apply it on the layer. Here change the direction to 90 degree, and blur to 30. Change the font color as same as the gradient color. Open opacity and change it to 70%. Now we can minimize the layer. Again take a copy of font layer and keep it below all layers. And unhide the layer. Now turn on the solar mode so we can see only this layer. Change the text stroke color to white. And fill color to none. Here you can change the stroke size as much as you like, but I'm going with 2 value. We don't need this fade in animation in this text layer so open layer properties. Go inside animator option and remove the keys from offset. Now change the start value to around 35. And offset value to 5. Open advanced option. Change shape to square. Amount to 95. And you can keep any random seat amount which you like. For me 5 is looking good. Now add tracking from animate option. Go to 1.10 seconds and add a key in tracking amount. Go 1 second forward and change amount to 45. Now open scale and add a key here. Hit you on the keyboard to reveal all keys. Go to first keyframe and add a key here. Come back to the last key and change amount to 110. Now select all keys and easy ease them. Open graph editor and drag the handles like I'm doing here. You can play and check your animation. Open opacity and add a key here. Now reveal all keys and shift the opacity key to 1.23 seconds. Go to 2.08 seconds and change opacity to 0. Cool. Looking good to me. Now search for the echo effect and apply it on the layer. Change number of echoes to 5. Starting intensity to 0.70. And decay to 0.45. Perfect. Now search for the camera lens blur effect and apply it on the layer. Go to the last key and add a key on blur radius. Come back to 1.25 second and change blur radius to 3. Now you can check your animation. Here trim out the layer from both sides where the animation is ending. Now we can unsolo the layer. RAM preview your animation. Looking cool. Now we will add background here. Create new solid of comp size and name it liquid background. You can keep any color you like. Search for the fractal noise effect and apply it on the layer. Change the fractal type to swirly. Open transform option and change scale to 200. And change complexity to 1. Now hold alt button on your keyboard and click on evolution stopwatch. Type here time star 50. So we will get continues wave effects just like we did earlier. Now search for the tint effect and apply it on the layer. Hide this layer for a second for picking up the tint color. Change the matte white color to gradient color. Now you can unhide the layer. Again search for the CC burn film effect and apply it on the layer. Go to 28th frame and add a key and burn. Come back to 1st frame and change burn value to 100. Cool. Now search for the glow effect and apply it on the layer. And change glow radius to 100. Minimize this layer and keep it below all layers. 
At last open opacity and change value to 5. You can keep the opacity value as much as you like. Now we will create our fade out animation. For that, take one new adjustment layer. Again search for the CC burn film effect and apply it on the layer. Come to 3.17 second and add a key on burn. Go forward to 4.27 second and change burn value to 100. And we are done with the animation part. Now you can run preview your animation. Now I will show you some other gradient patterns which you can create easily. For that, go to project window and take a copy of liquid gradient comp. Open that comp. You can change the shape color to any other color you like. You can copy the color code for getting similar color like me. For changing background color, open solid settings and change color from here. I'm going with blue and pink color theme here, but you are free to choose any colors you like. Now search for the CC cross blur effect and apply it on the shape layer. Change the radius X value to 260. You can see now we are getting smooth color blendings. Change radius Y value to 10. And transfer mode to screen. Looking cool. Now go to project window and take a copy of our main comp. Open that comp. Select the gradient comp in timeline, then select the second gradient comp. Hold out on your keyboard, and drag and drop on gradient layer in timeline. This will replace the old comp in our timeline with the new one. And we got our new patterns in just few seconds. You are always free to change the values for getting new look in every title. Now you can check your animation. You can change background color as well with your new pattern theme color. Also you can replace text here but make sure to change the text in all the three text layers. Again come back to project window and take a copy of liquid gradient comp. Open that comp, select the shape layer and hide the cross blur effect because we don't want it. Here change the second solid layer color to pink color. Now hide the shape layer, and change the Venetian blinds width size to 200. Apply the CC cross blur effect here. Change transfer mode to blend. Radius X to 10. And radius Y to 55. Now, we are ready to use this gradient pattern in our text. Replace the gradient comp with old one again. And check your animation. Cool. Now I'm showing one more example. You guys can take a copy of our first gradient comp, so you don't need to do all these changes which I'm doing here. Now search for the gradient tramp effect and apply it on the layer. Place this effect above the drop shadow effect. Now change both the start and end colors of your choice. I'm going with yellow and orange theme. Copy this gradient effect and paste it in bottom background layer. And again we got a new gradient pattern. Every time take a new copy of main comp for replacing the gradient pattern inside. Replace the gradient comp with old one again. Looking cool. Now I'm showing you guys two more gradient patterns which I had already created. Here you can see many shapes which you need to create manually for achieving different colorful patterns. You can set the gradient ramp for each shapes. Which will consume lot of time. But after creating pattern once, you can change colors for getting new color pattern every time. Let me show you how this gradient pattern will look like inside our text. So in this way you can create new colorful patterns as many times you like. And we are done with this tutorial. If you find this video helpful then consider liking and subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, sayonara.